Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. It's broken. I'm taking it back to Morphe. Hi, guys, it's Shakara Fry. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the James Charles palette, the real palette this time, because, um, yeah, if you guys want another tea, watch my last video make sure you guys follow me on instagram it's shakara fryer and also on snapchat to miss underscore shat make sure you guys subscribe and click the bell and like this video and yeah let's just get straight into it so we have this palette right here if you guys watched my last video it's pretty much the same on the back which was on the back of the other one except for there are some differences so if you guys want to see my comparison video make sure you guys click the bell so you're ready for my next video which will be the comparison video but yeah this is what it looks like um if you guys saw the last video you obviously would know the differences without even needing to see my comparison video but oh my gosh this is what the box basically looks like this is basically what the palette looks like Ow, I just slap myself in the face with it. So well, this palette is so hard to open, but we did it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this colour. Which colour is this? 518. It's broken, I'm taking it back to Morphe. Okay, so the first thing is the whole names on this thing. I said it in my last video, oh my gosh. It just totally drowned me out. But I said this in my last video, but... I really just don't like it being on here because realistically when I get a palette I never ever keep the protector thing I just never ever do that so the fact that it's just on there like it just makes it so annoying because I'll have to keep it this is basically what the palette looks like and it's so so cute literally everything looks so pigmented and just so vibrant so i think i'm gonna do what i did with the last palette and basically do one kind of neutral eye and then one kind of glam eye type of thing i need to see which one of my eyes are like more up okay this one goes more up so this one will be the colorful eye because you know it has more space so before i double double in my eye look i'm going to swatch some colors so i want to swatch colors that i feel like are a little bit hard to be pigmented like a lot of them that i see they're not really that pigmented so i'm gonna do the yellow i'm gonna do the green so i'm gonna do b which is a really like a yellow okay so that's b and that's just with one swatch can you see that on my hands that's with one swatch i don't think you guys can see it properly though that's B with one swatch. Then I'm going to go into Social Blade, which is a really light green. Okay. These colours are picking up pigment. Not going to lie, I really thought people were just over gassing the thing, but... Okay, I'm going to dip in the shade 518. So this is 518. Oh my gosh, the shade you're kidding me. Is literally what I feel like to say right now you're actually kidding me it's so pigmented it does have a lot of like fallout that's why it ends up looking really chalky but if you like wipe the fallout away it just shows you like how pigmented it is if you guys can see so I want to do this shade artistry because if you look in the palette it just looks so like different compared to all the other ones like that's that shade and then look at the other ones they look kind of a bit just bland this one has a more i don't know what it has in it it just looks more shimmery and it has like a hint of blue in there i'm gonna try that oh this is such a cute shade i know exactly what i'm doing on the colorful eye just so you know okay i need to stop getting gas and just get straight into the video because i would just swatch oh there's a white in there i feel like i should just swatch one more does the white and the black gay okay, guys please don't kill me oh my gosh the way that it feels is beautiful artistry and literally so by the way i just tried to wipe off artistry and i still can see the glitters like on my hand i don't really know if you guys can really see it you guys see it a bit like it's still on my hand so just be wary of that okay that has pigment i really thought it was going to be like super ashy but 
that is pigment that is literally pigment i really thought it was gonna be super ashy guys look at spooky on my hand like okay okay all right then you know okay that's enough swatches on with the video so i'm dipping in the shade punchy which is like this really light brown guys i don't like the fact that i make funny faces when i do these type of videos this shade is actually quite lighter than i expected this base shade is really light it's not kind of what i expected i expected it to be just a smidge a bit darker but it's okay we move so we're dipping the shade beautique which is this really cute burgundy which is what i do all my looks based on anyway i always use a nice burgundy in my crease and like blend it out and then i'm gonna go into the shade mary which is kind of like a burgundy but it's just a little bit lighter i'm just adding that on my lid just packing it on so i'm gonna dip into the shade shook and i'm basically gonna kind of cut my crease with it Okay, so we do have a bit of fallout and by the way this cut crease normally when i have cut creases the glitter normally goes onto the top of my lid but it's not happening now so i'm dipping into the shade escape it's a lot more pigmented than i expected it's like really dark and pigmented i didn't expect that now i'm going in with the shade signal which is a lighter purple guys when i tell you that this is so easy to blend i literally all I've done is wiped it and it's literally blended in so well. Guys, it's literally blended in so well. I just need to blend the edges, but oh my gosh, I'm literally so scared because this is so pigmented. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. So I'm trying to go in with the shade Artistry, but it's not coming off on my brush. That Whoa. Okay, let's try and... Okay, on this brush, artistry is really hard to like get on. Like, literally, yeah, it's not that great using this brush, but using your hands, like, it works better. But who, how the hell am I supposed to do a cut crease with my finger? I have no idea. Oh my god, guys, it just ended up being really, really messy. Okay, so artistry has literally got all over my face, like, it's literally everywhere, but. When I tell you, I actually like it so much. Like, okay, so I'm back with the finishing look. Um, I think they look really cute. I tried to do two different, like, mascara looks. This one's supposed to be, like, bushy wisp. And this one's supposed to be, like, super wisp. Like, there's so much gaps there. Okay, I see that. Like, this one looks, like, really full. And this one looks, like, super wisp. That's the look that I was kind of going for. Um, can you guys also see the look? I have so these are the two looks if you guys can see and yeah like the palette is actually super pigmented I was actually really sharp I mean the palette's super big but I don't really think it's so much of an issue because of me I would only be using this palette at home I wouldn't be taking it out with me because there's no way I'm going out with like a purple or red you know bright red look like that's just not me that's not how I leave my house I leave in neutrals and I only do like really bold looks for like Instagram, TikTok or like, you know, social media basically. So yeah, I would only be using this at home. Um, I don't really like the numbers. I don't really like the names being on the little sheet. I think it's just so inconvenient. But however, you know, I'm going to be using it in the house. So it's not that big of a deal. But I feel like if you're a person who loses things very easily then it's going to be an issue but i feel like the colors are very very cute it's set for the artistry palette i don't know why but it just would not pick up on my brush look at the like look at it now like that's me digging it out trying to like make it fit on my brush so yeah i haven't dipped in all of these shades yet i can't wait to do so i'm also going to do another comparison video i want to do a comparison video between this and also the beauty bay palette and the beauty bay palette is like this so i kind of want to do oh my gosh guys look at this it just spilled all on my hands you guys can see like it literally just spilled all over my hands but oh wow but i kind of want to do you know a look between this and that one obviously this one has more like bright colors but hopefully we'll find similar shades and we can compare them 
that's it for this video please like subscribe and click the bell and i will see you guys in my next video